Okay, so I'm gonna mix up the coiser dates into five liters of water, and I've done it as per the instructions. You can use something like oil of clove, I've heard people talking about, but I uh, wouldn't have a clue how you're supposed to dose that, so I'd stick to something like this, which um, is a reputable make, and you can have some assurance over. So now I'm just gonna mix it up until it makes a froth. Yeah. and that's now fine okay so we've got the fish in the sedate I'm going to take two scrapes of the um, of the of the skin one from there up yeah got a nice bit on there and then the other I'm going to do from the top across oh yes and that always for me gets a better sample I'm going to put the fish into the recovery bucket. So to help this, I'm just going to put a dob of pond water in there. It helps keep all of the organisms alive. So this is the microscope I use. It goes up to times 400 magnification. It costs 50 pounds um, and it's, it's excellent. It's just what I need. Um, you can light up the slide either from above or below using this switch here. Um, and um, in fact, you know, I rarely use the times 400. I usually no normally use the times 40 or times 100 to see the sort of pathogens that we're concerned about here. So I'm gonna have a look under the slide, uh, so under the microscope at the slide, and um, see if I can see anything. So here we are. This is on times 40 magnification. And you can see the little discs spinning around, which is trichothena. We're now looking under a times 100 and the spinning discs are very, very clear. So that's something I'm going to need to treat. And I'll treat the whole pond rather than any individual fish. So this fish has had about 10 minutes in the uh, recovery uh, bath of just pure pond water. So I'm going to put him back in the main pond now and then we're going to treat the overall pond for the trichodina that we spotted.